So this is Gita Prana signing on, and this is a test. Um, some people have been asking me about the mini albums and the junk journals I make, and how I make them, and uh, it means that I think I'm going to have to make some videos about them, because these things, you can't handle them a lot. So you have to know all the ways that they open up and go in and out, and how you can take things in and out. Uh, before you see them if I donate them to the shop and otherwise just for the happiness of looking at them so this one is made out of cereal box and this is a Ridgely mini, theme, mini album theme which means it's got some pictures from Ridgely already inside as well as spaces where you can put your own things and the um, pictures are coming either from contemporary pictures, photographs some people have taken, or it's coming from the old Ridgely photo album or some other source like old envelopes, etc. So this is the cover. Uh, it's made, here's a picture of Manor House. There's a Huh, what did I do? I guess I just acrylic painted this frame, this wooden frame that I got from Michael's. A picture of Swami Vivekananda. Some flowers, some of which I made, some of which are from Michael's. Uh, different kinds of uh, decorative paper, which are under these things layered. Some washi tape. Uh, it closes with a ribbon. So I'll open it and show you probably the first page. I don't want to make a really long video, but I'm just testing to see if my camera will actually show up what's in here and if I can do this. So here is the first page, the inside cover. Whoops, it's glaring because there's there. Uh, there's a photograph. There's room for sticking photographs. Sorry for the glare in this belly band here. And here is a little photograph that I've already put on of the manor house. And this page here, here's a kind of a, this is a copy of Swami Vivekananda's signature that he signed in the Ridgely guest book. And you can flip it out with a magnet. And here's the rest of it where he's written August 1900, India. And some little paper decoration uh, some other stickers and other mixed media things I put on. A picture of Swami Vivekananda. This pulls out. This is a tag. It pulls out of this pocket. You can put photographs on the front and the back. And also there's a pocket here. Voila! Here is a cut up old envelope of ours and I've been using a lot of them. Uh, you can put something in this pocket if you so desire. And also this pulls out the roof and you'll see more if I happen to show it another place you can put funny little photographs and now it's not going back in because the next page so um, these this next page I'm moving this one off is a facsimile sorry I moved the camera of Ridgely and you can see that this tag that I pulled up is not going back in because it's caught here the, it's a tag, it's the roof of the manor house. Here we have Betty and Frank Leggett kind of a pull out and they fit into either this pocket or this pocket. I have a paper clip here that's holding these doors which are the Risley front doors and you can open them up and put a photograph in if you like. I'll put this all back later. It's made with a variety of different papers. Some are from DCWV, some are from uh, Graphic 45, some are from all sorts of things out of my stash, plus this orange cardstock that comes from any office supply store. And here is another photograph of Manor House from the 1892, I believe. A, uh, what do you call this? part of a calling card that belonged to Francis Lakett. A little construction of flowers that I made by cutting out some graphic 45 paper. This flips up 
like so. And, hmm, how am I going to get it in the picture? And here you have some photo maps, and one of them has a photograph of Betty Leggett on it. Then this is a, another kind of flower construction that I made from Graphic 45 paper. It pulls down some window, I mean, what do you call these? Window shades. Open up, and here is a window. And if I'm lucky, this photograph of Josephine McLeod stays in the window. But you can take that out and put another photograph in. I'll just take it out now, get it back later. And this looks that, this looks that, that's the first page. Then, this is the next spread. Uh, this is Daughter Leggett and her little friend that the Leggett family, ado uh, not adopted, took into their family to be a companion for their daughter Frances. They have, um, both are over, sitting over belly vans and there are many different kinds of tags. I'll probably put more tags in here, but it opens up and you get a place to put pictures that it's kind of like a little shrine. You can't see the whole thing because it opens out. And these open up. Th these open up the tops and there's photo mats on the back and the front. So more pictures can go in there. Fix it later. These close up. Then um, this is a set of pictures all in a uh, place to put pictures. I learned this on YouTube where you can find many, many fantastic tutorials by incredibly talented people. I wish I could remember who um, I got this tutorial from, but it's a series of places to put photographs. You can put them in the pockets. You can put them in this pocket, etc. It's uh, attached onto this page and you can tie it back up. And here's another Leggett page that has many places to put tags. Here's a photograph using his Tim Holtz uh, picture frame, Sizzix die. Here's Josephine and a friend of hers. Here are more Leggett photos that I cut from various places. You can either put your own behind there, cover up the Leggetts with your own, whatever. And then this opens up. There is a transparency here, creating a lot of glare. There's more photo mats. There's more tiny places to put little tiny photos. Here I couldn't resist because Betty Leggett was a classy dresser. So I made a dress form and a dress. So this page doesn't have a lot of extra space on it, but it does have this little booklet that you can open up. And most of the things here are either uh, stamped and distressed up or sometimes they're downloadable images that I, this, like this hat that I got from um, the internet and then colored up myself. More tags. Um, I believe that's it. There's really only one page here, but it's got so many things in it. And uh, it all attaches to the photograph album through these strings, these, this ribbon, so you could go to the middle and actually detach it if you want to use it as a frame for those photographs in the middle. And then the back is just more of the decorative paper, washi tape, a cut up a Ridgely album, and the um, signature that I put on my things. Uh, I cut out this because I don't have a die and on the edge die so I just handmade this little scalloped edge and so the ribbon to close it is tied here. Alright, so this is much longer than I intended this album to be, this video to be I mean. And uh, so um, it's just kind of an overview of this particular album. I will check it out and if I like it I will upload it and if not I won't. So thank you for watching and have a very nice day.